In this series of videos, we're going to be discussing the endocrine system, its glands, and selected hormones. The first one we're going to be talking about is the pituitary gland. The pituitary gland is located in the cella tersica of the sphenoid bone, directly connected to the hypothalamus. To give you a better idea of what that means, you can see here the pituitary gland directly connected to the hypothalamus via the infundibulum. The pituitary gland is divided into an anterior and posterior pituitary. The anterior pituitary synthesizes and secretes seven hormones, human growth hormone, thyroid stimulating hormone, adrenocorticotropic hormone, prolactin, follicle stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone, and melanocyte stimulating hormone. The first one, human growth hormone, acts on bones to stimulate growth and development. Human growth hormone also acts on your liver to stimulate your basal metabolic rate. Too little secretion, a hyposecretion of growth hormone in a child results in dwarfism. Too much secretion, a hypersecretion in a child results in gigantism. In an adult, a hypersecretion of growth hormone results in a disease known as acromegalia. Thyroid stimulating hormone acts on the thyroid gland, which is a butterfly shaped gland located on the larynx. Thyroid stimulating hormone stimulates the thyroid gland to secrete its hormones. Prolactin promotes milk secretion and mammary glands. Adrenocorticotropic hormone stimulates the adrenal cortex which is located on the superior portion of the kidneys to secrete its hormones. Follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone collectively are known as gonadotrophs. Follicle stimulating hormone in men stimulates sperm production by the testes and in women stimulates the production of oocytes and secretion of estrogen by the ovaries. Luteinizing hormone in men stimulates the secretion of testosterone by the testes and in women, luteinizing hormone stimulates the secretion of estrogens and progesterone by the ovaries and also triggers ovulation. Melanocyte stimulating hormone stimulates melanocytes to secrete melanin, which influences skin pigmentation. The posterior pituitary gland stores two hormones that are actually synthesized in the hypothalamus. These are antidiuretic hormone and oxytocin. The two primary functions of antidiuretic hormone are to retain water in the body and constrict blood vessels, thereby increasing blood pressure as well as blood volume. A hyposecretion of antidiuretic hormone results in a disease known as diabetes insipidus. Oxytocin is released during uterine contractions while giving birth to promote an increase in uterine contractions as well as milk production and secretion.